Hey you guys, it is Drunk Monkey42 here, but today I am Ryan the DM running a game of Dungeons and Dragons, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage for my friends and family here. Uh, we sit at a table, of course, and we play. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since our last game, uh, so we're, we got a lot of memories that we got to rejog here on what happened, but before we do that, we're going to go around the table and... Uh, Say whatever you know. Say who everybody is playing, and we'll get into it. So, starting over here, I have Mal who is playing, or sorry, Riley who is playing Mal. <laughs> uh, next to her, I have Justin who is playing Thoron. Next to him, I have Zach who is playing Perquin, aka Peter. Next to him, we have Jason who is playing Bost, uh, aka whatever the hell I feel like calling him that day. Uh, next to him, we have Sarah, who is playing Bernice. Happy New Year. <laughs> next to her, we have Ron, who is playing multiple characters, one of which is Bart, and then the other one is Bertram. Hi and hello. And of course, I will be the DM like normal. Now, some of you who have been watching probably noticed we do have a new intro that uh, that we that I created. Uh, kind of give you a perspective of where they're at as far as level 10 goes, their character levels. So I kind of got that updated. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, it definitely was uh, quite a project <laughs> to get everything worked. So we'll go ahead and get on into this and uh, kind of give you guys a little memory jog on what happened. So uh, you guys had just... Just got done leaving the temple after a big battle uh, fight of a Bahir, I believe is how it was pronounced. When all but one pretty much heard a message in their head saying, come see me, I have a request of you, or I want to seek audience with you, basically. Kind of sum it up here. So you guys kind of agreed to go do that. And as you're going, you find a bully log who kind of leads you in a direction of where you got to go. Uh, soon you find yourself amongst a bunch of bullywogs, like a bullywog camp, as well as shortly after that, a uh, Salad creature, which you've fought several of these before, but this one definitely looks different from the others. He presented you with a task of getting rid of a couple of nuisances of his. And by doing such, he will provide you any safe passage throughout this floor without his bully wogs or his allies or his companions or his whatever you want to call them attacking you or causing you any issues. He tells you that, you know, uh, that they're in the south part of the floor, head towards there, and it shouldn't be too hard to find them. I believe he gave me names of those. Uh, I'll remind you later because I'm going to have to look at my notes to find where those names are, but I'm pretty sure I gave you the names of the two. So you guys proceeded south, but before you did, you're like, let's go back to the little island that looked like a good place to rest, and let's rest. Oops. So you went to that little island. You proceeded to cast a bubble for everybody, that little dome shield, and everybody began to rest. Some of you prayed, some of you worshipped, you know, you did your own thing. But... For one in particular dwarf, sorry, one in particular dwarf. Better not call me a druid. <laughs> <laughs> Once I tried to go Dugar, I was going to call you a druid. Uh, one in particular dwarf, in fact, uh, Thorin, actually had a very strange dream. A very nightmarish one. In fact, it was so vivid and so real that when he woke up, it's like he didn't even get the benefits of a long rest at all. Feeling this, he went ahead and patched up his wounds using, his, of course, you know, his hit dice. He went ahead and quickly patched up his wounds and is pretty much kind of act, try to play it off and not let anybody know uh, kind of how he felt about that. You guys proceeded to go south. Uh, you did come across a rundown smaller temple uh, that had a statue in it. 
Oh, uh, looking at the statues, yeah, uh, a, a swarm of like centipedes or whatnot uh, came popping out of the ground. You guys pretty much killed them really fast. I figured that would happen pretty quick. Uh, but you had a contact with a ghost. This this ghost, unlike the other ghosts you found, this one actually interacted with you. You asked it questions and trying to determine where this was. In fact, this ghost also had a beef with the same ones that you were hunting, the same foes. And gave you information telling you to go east and then go south and you will find them. You guys explore the rest of this little uh, temple, but then decided to go south instead of going east. For those of you uh, that saw it, which was Bart, saw two uh, drow that seemed to be hiding amongst the rocks. And he was able to pretty much see them. With the help of Perquin, they decided, hey, let's sneak up on them and try to take them out. That worked for the most part, other than the fact that you guys didn't really have water walk on you at the time you were doing this. It was slow going. You did defeat one of the drow, but the other one, uh, the female, had run off, had retreated back while the male stayed there to fight until the bitter end. And that is kind of where we left off. Uh, you did have Boston in the back that was kind of like, guys, it said to go this way. And of course, your response was, well, you just wait right here. And everybody kind of moved on. So boss is kind of back there a little slightly on the confused side on which direction to go. Follow what the ghost said to do or follow the group that's ignoring the, the directions <laughs> of the ghost that they asked for directions of. <laughs> so that is that is where we left off. And I will go ahead and flip it over to the map and we will begin our game. So, so let me let me let me let me flip it back. All right, there we go. Flipped it back. So I know that this ghost is different from the one I, the spirit I speak to, and so far, other than the few stupid moves you guys do, you're still pretty responsible. So I'm gonna follow you guys. <laughs> Not the stupid ones. I said some. Are you part of that sum? Maybe. <laughs> well, at least you admit it. Who all did you put water walk on again? Do you remember? Good question. <laughs> There's three of us that don't have it. I know. I remember I had it last had time it. I was here. Mies had it. I had it. He had one. Bart flies. Yeah, he had one. One of Bart his. It only lasts for an hour. You guys had a long rest and you moved off. For yeah, a yeah, Bart is not flying. So nobody had it until the I combat just... happened and then she cast it. I think you ended up casting it. Was it on all of us? After? Everyone except for Bertram, I think. Yes, because he'd gotten out of range. Because <laughs> Bertram decided to move. <laughs> Did you cast fly after you woke up from a long rest? Okay, so yeah, you wouldn't have fly on you now, correct? No, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that so. that ended before we went, even went and saw the. Wad. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. I thought it did, yeah. but I just wanted yeah, to I make sure. I just swim out there. Oh, okay. I don't it's only like an hour. You didn't swim. No, you, you Mr. Queen, Queen and King, there. rode on the bear. That's right. I'll take, I'll take it about this. But, well, somebody swam. A couple of them didn't have water walk and fell into the water when it when it got deeper. He fell into the water and she fell into the water. Yeah. All right. So oh, I didn't ask, but all right. Um, I know you like that player, right? I'm going to write that song. Uh, Line them up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so... So other than Bertram, everybody has it? Yes. Yes, Mel? Okay. And that lasts for... What did you say? Bertram? Are you using spell slots to do that? Yeah. Or are you ritual casting it? It's not a does. ritual casting what? thing, I didn't think. Um, I, I, I don't know. I think there's a feature for that, but I don't know. That's just regular old spell. I, it, it's, you still got time on it. I just want to verify that it was about an hour, because uh, technically you cast it during combat, so like you've really so. only been like not even, no, 
Walk of Water is not eight hours. Yeah, it's, it's only an hour. hour. It's an hour. An hour? Yep. So, Unfortunately, it's only an hour. It's only really been maybe a minute since you cast it. Maybe we can get our so I just want to make sure we got that that, hour, that under under there. I can go over the edge without a paddle in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So any, anyways. Uh, so yeah, you guys did just come out of combat. Uh, we did? Yes. Yeah. It's, it is out of combat because he, the, the other one took off. Uh, and left, left visuals. So it is. You are out of combat. You're right. Uh, most of you right here on the beach. Uh, plus, if you were still in combat, I'd have to have Boss move his ass back to where he was versus running up to the to the uh, shoreline. So you're out of combat. Um, you guys can regroup, uh, figure out what you're going to do. So do we keep chasing these fuckers? Yeah, I run around the corner. That's why I said I'm not out of combat. Um, well, I said you guys were out of Ryan, combat. I'd That's like what to I'm roll, saying. I write, I'd like to roll so, a skill check. Or, or what? I want to see if we're even combat effective right now as survivability. So I want to roll a survival check. I don't even know how to acknowledge that. Um, like, know. from a tactical standpoint like are we are we going to be able to keep going in the way we are pure survival standards we all have I'm, enough hit points i'm not mean, just I hit points i'm talking I'm, about supplies i'm okay. talking about everything i think well, we've always had enough supplies i think tactically speaking we may need to th think of some better tactics but yes. this works at the moment <laughs> and you know as long as it works we and keeps working gets away that is true what do you say the longer we talk the further away the fucker gets it's already too do far. we need to get him though i mean do we need to swing over i guess information I mean, it's a drow yeah, yeah it's i know a drow. And i understand that but do we need to waste our resources and Where's energy on them? Icon. You you still have hunter mark is still up. Your hunter's mark is still up, so you know the direction where they're at. Fine. So we're satisfied with one kill, right? No. I, or do that, we, I or want do we to. Listen, them? I oh. want to finish them. That's that's fine. I mean, you guys really can pursue on. It's just as yeah. a as a group, you're going to move on. Thing, if she tells her group. Uh huh. That we're in here. Yep. They're all going to come out. Yeah, I mean, Bertram would never stop. It. He's the person. He's leaving. We need we need to finish her before she finds the rest of her group. All right, let's go. Yeah, and if let's she's let's found go. the rest of her group, then we need to finish them. Then let's go. All right, then let's go. Complete annihilation. Yep. <laughs> okay, so choosing to move on. That's that's absolutely fine. Uh, get you regrouped here. Uh, so does Bertram want to lead the way then? I think know Bart where it's at. And... Or oh yeah, I already decided to be back a little bit because I I moved the token that was already there. You guys were technically surrounded the mm -hmm. male drow that was there. The female one moved on. Uh, by her turn, her standards, she would have been able to sprint and move even further out. That's why I was saying combat had ended once that guy was down. So. Is you guys wanting to fall back in your normal marching order, or are we just gonna throw just throw everybody in a group so I can move them around? Well, let's just. I mean, we're just running after them, right? Yeah, we're not. We're not following any. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw just a you, dispersed pattern. Yeah, I'm gonna throw you into a group here, which is apparently almost moving right into a type of thing, just so I can grab everybody and move you guys. Down, round, back up so that way you're not in the wall. Lord, you're in the wall. <laughs> I need my globe. It did not come with, did it? No. Did you just click my globe? Well, I I highlighted everybody. All right. Uh, again, your uh, your hunter's mark that you have on you. Or have on the guy, which I think was uh, Bart that did it. Was it Bart that cast it, or was it Bertram that did Hunter's Mark? Um, 
Does it last, what, 10 minutes, I believe, right? Bertrand doesn't have one. All right, so yeah. Bart that casts it? Yep. Okay. Because right now you're coming to, you can either go south or you can go north here. Uh, your hunter's mark is pretty much pointing you on the other side of this rock face. So you have an option going down this way or going up this way. So which way do you guys want to go? Uh, Bart wants to look down that hallway and just see what he can see down here. Okay. It comes uh, off. It looks like it curves around. And so it's in this rock face that I'm looking at right now. That's where the mark is deep. You got a sense that it's it's on the opposite side. Like like they, it, there's got to be something on the other side of this. Uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna head south. Head south. Okay. All right. Uh, I am gonna move one at a time, token wise, real quick. Uh, you're gonna let Bart go first, guys. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Who's after him? Thoron. Right. Uh, I think Thoron should. Who's Just falling behind ask. Thoron? Me. Perquin. Uh, who's yeah. after Perquin? Bost. Who's after him? He went now. I got three more people. Who's after Boss? I'll be after. Okay. Bertram's last. Then, of course, her. All right, Mal. And then uh, Bertram. All right. Okay, so the reason why I'm trying to, because one, you guys can't really march side by side when you're going through here. That's kind of a more of a narrow passageway. Uh, Bart, as you come round and around with your vision, you can see uh the dugar in the middle of this uh open area right here in front of you uh which you can also see is you do see another drow in this area as well that appears to be on did i put that in the wrong spot i think i went north instead of sorry you should this should actually be right sorry do you still see him he's just an edge of him all right, well, let me, I'll just move you up a little bit closer here. Fine. Uh, it's perfectly fine that you see it. You you just see a person or a feet or something that's right here, but it doesn't appear to be like, they don't appear to be standing in a way. They almost seem like they're dangling. Like hanging? Dangling? <laughs> yes, I used the word dangling. Yes, like almost hanging in, in, a, in a way. Like their feet aren't really... Touching the ground in a way. It's just more or less hanging there, but you can kind of see that there is a person right there. Um, Levitating? Like... Until you come around the corner and get more detail, that's about all I can give you right now. So, But you do see the one with the hunter's mark, uh, who happens to be right there. Uh, you guys are pretty loud. They're pretty much well prepared for uh, what looks like maybe a last stand right here. As they uh, ready themselves, so obviously I know how you guys feel about this, and I suppose we should probably go ahead and roll initiative then. Yay! Eighteen. What's your dex? Uh, plus three. You go. You go. I'd like you to go before me. Okay. Is that okay, Ryan? Yeah, I have not fine. started asking anybody for initial roles, so it's, please it's hold on. For players' choice. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Don't try to get ahead of me just real quick, please. As I too have to roll initiative and get my information for this person. Um Did you get advantage? Why do you get advantage? Wouldn't you like to go? <laughs> well, I have advantage. That's why I'm asking. Seriously, one day I would like to play a clear. I have a magic and... shield that gives me ah. advantage, but your character would not know this. And yours has advantage because barbarian. Seven level. I think so. Look at me, knowledgeable now that I've played our barbarian for the first <laughs> time. <laughs> one time, and he's already. <laughs> Well, I don't have all that memorized, so I don't know what that ability is. I try to memorize is. all the way up to at least 10th level. 
Okay. Barbarians can get so, pretty stupid. Um, uh, twenty or higher. Yeah. And I instead of rolling initiative, I close the character sheet. Whoops. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> So his character died. So your anger has moved. <laughs> okay, so oh, that is for Bertram. And what did Bart have? Twenty-seven for Bertram. Twenty-seven because you have that other yeah. thing. What was yours? Twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Uh, did Bart get his in? Yeah, 17. Okay, I see now. All right, uh, 15 to 20. Nope. Anybody higher than 17? Okay, what'd you get? 18. 18. Okay, you guys decided him to go first? Yep, yep. Seventeen on BF. No additives. All right. Uh, I'm looking at ten to fifteen. What'd you get? Fourteen. Okay. And Thorn, what'd you get? I got a two. Uh, makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just have. <laughs> <laughs> You're just I, there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's kill the drow. <laughs> <laughs> Though they seem to be ready and and ready for combat and everything, uh, apparently they're not ready enough for uh, almost the whole group. So, uh, BB, on. you're obviously going to go first. <laughs> uh, so you're actually going to run back, assuming that Bar probably said there's the drow or seemed to... Yep. Okay. He went back the other way. Dash. Use my action to dash. Okay, so you action dashed. Yep. Moved, dashed. 50. You moved a dash. All right, so bonus action, anything? Um, is that chamber lit? No. Um, for some reason, I also forgot Mal's orb here. Here we go. Bing. Whatever light that is emitting is emitting because of your lantern that you have on your hip. Okay, it's shuttered right now. You got it closed yeah, I'm to only in. dim it. No, I'm shut. It's off. Oh, you're going to turn I'm it off? I'm moving in the dark right now. Yep. Okay. Let me, shut, so, let me shut off your light then. And so that gives me... <coughs> Which one is it? That I can move that far course. then, right? Eric's character would be... Eric's well, I can move that far for a bit because of her, of her light. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna move right to there. And, okay. And um, what? is that so? I'm I'm seeing some light. It's probably whatever light happens to be squeezing by yeah. the uh, right? the the curves of her orb okay. that she has. Does it light up enough? Can I see that guy? Um, unfortunately, on my screen, it's hard for me to determine that. Yeah, I, I can't. Because I also see the vision of Bart, and it lights up almost the whole room because of the vision of Bart. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to say no right now that you cannot, because I feel like only a sliver may be leaking in there. So, he's still pretty shrouded in dark. Okay. Or she is still shrouded in dark pretty well. So, I just followed along the cave. Yeah, pretty easy to do. Walls, uh, and um, and then just hold off. I mean, you had a bonus action. You could use those dash instead. Yeah. Uh, that way, you had your action. Um, I'm gonna somebody. use. Yeah. My bonus action to dash instead, and then I'm going to use my action to stealth down this down this hallway in into this cavern, but not I'm going to go in as not all the way. I'm following the wall. Did how much how much movement did you use to get there? Sixty. 
So you used your whole movement yeah. to get there. Yeah. Uh, so then you're going to use your action to hide. No, I'm going to use my action to move. Okay, so you're... Stealth. Okay, so you're doing another movement with it to stealth-wise. That's what you're trying to do. So I used all my movement. Yeah, yeah. you you, yeah. Yeah, you dashed And my bonus to get, action dash. To, yeah. But now I'm going to use my action to move. Right. That's cool. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, okay. we call so it dash, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you're, dash. you're getting more yeah. movement. Yeah. Uh, if you're trying to stealth, that's going to reduce yeah, your right. movement down, so yeah. you'll get 15 feet of movement. Yep. And that's really I want all I want. I want to get down this hallway. Okay. Boards in there, but but staying right. Well, in the I'm shadows. Still going to ask you for a stealth check. So I, I need that stealth check. I'll roll it. Christ. That's plus eleven. Um, uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Wait, you had such a shit roll. It's still 18. I rolled a 7. That's without a trace. I actually rolled a 1 in a 7. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have advantage on it. Right, but don't you... What's that? That's the rogue, right? Yeah. Don't you have that thing where if you even if you roll a shit, no matter what, not, it's not, 10? I'm not that high enough. So. I'm wondering. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> Uh, so can you move me like uh, 15 feet stealthily up against the wall? Because I can't see shit. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> oh, I, I know you can't. <laughs> if I touch the wall. You get moved over to there. I never understood why rogues right. automatically don't get blind sense. Okay. That's training. All righty. Yeah. Okay, so okay. That, that will now end your turn, says that's all your action, bonus yep. action, and movement. Uh, Mal, it is your turn, and you can clearly see by looking behind you that your uh, that the person behind you is, is no longer there. Bernice? Bertram's yeah. gone. Oh, not surprised. <laughs> Bertram has left the building. So... <laughs> Where does what does Mal want to do? Well, Mal can't see anything. Don't forget, you can well, right click. You can see over Bernice. Right click. You can see Bob. Yeah, you can see over Bernice. Mm -hmm. You you obviously get the get the feel that I mean everybody gets the feel as soon as you came around that corner or got to this area as Bart's, yeah, Bart's demeanor brow gets into the combat ready situation. Drow. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he draw <laughs> Ugly. Well, pretty much elves. Let's start with that. Yeah. And then oh, yeah, yeah. again, what does Mal want to do? Well, Mal wanted to do a fireball, but she can't see. Yeah, fired right down. Why not? Boom. Why? Because so you don't know. You could kill everything in there. I... You don't even have to do anything. We'll have to make you do a perception check on that one, since you do have two larger. Then the dwarf creatures between you and that open spot, just yeah, to make sure you can see an open area to be able to shoot that damn fireball. Otherwise, you can move, and you are able to move through your allies. So if you want to move to get more in an open area so you can see better, you're perfectly fine. You can actually get right in front of Bart, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can. So if you want to move and then determine what you want to do, you perfectly can. Okay, yeah. Um. Make sure you take your light yeah, with you. It's it's come. One second. I want to fireball one second. Where? I said one second. <laughs> uh, I'm behind a lot of people. I'm okay. <laughs> the the area itself begins to light up. You can now you can now see the figure. I sure. want to fireball that spot. You're gonna say fireball. Let me, let me. I gotta go grab your fireball. We're just gonna put tank around there. <laughs> I don't know where you are. You have no idea where I am. <laughs> so you get hit. It's not my fault. I could be back in Waterdeep. You know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it just turned around and left. <laughs> oh, this place. <laughs> Shoot. 
blends into the thing. There's like, a crazy dwarf that's got PTSD. <laughs> I knew we had M1 Abrams. <laughs> My emotional support M1 Abrams. <laughs> How? How? How is the season? Oh, was you? That wasn't the question <laughs> asked. The question was, I would like to do a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're all right. That is correct. That is a hundred percent correct, sir. Never I asked know. how tall the building was. Never yeah. asked how big the room was. Like I said, I guess a fireball. <laughs> It's, I'm sorry, I'm having troubles grabbing this ring. I guess I made it too skinny or something. It's just not one. I'll have another right question when you're ready. Do what? <laughs> I also have another question when you. Oh my god! Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> Let me zoom in on it a little bit more. Maybe now I can grab it. Zoom me. Well, it's just it's not letting me grab that ring zoom, 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 like zoom, I want zoom, to grab it. Here. Here. It's just, it's definitely not making it easy. And I, I really hate to reshape and redo another ring at the situation. I'd just rather use the rings I have. What was it? So, slowly but surely, a fireball ring is coming around. She fires a fireball slowly. <laughs> it's Everything's fireball. in slow motion. Okay. Nah. Where, where are you, where are you casting this? I finally got, the, I finally got the ring over here as people want... are making. So where there. where was it going? Sorry, you know where? Here. That's the center. Yes. You can't see shit. Nope. <laughs> I can't see shit either. Okay. All I know is that she's... that is centered where you pointed it to. You're about to see shit. <laughs> I'm about to see a flash of something. All right, <laughs> nuclear. <laughs> Tactical nuclear. Do you need enough dice? You got enough? I got enough. All right. Uh, what, uh, how many charges are you putting in this? Just one, Just one charge? One. Okay. Yes. Well, roll for damage, and I need uh, Bertram to give me a dex save, please. The one guy that can probably pass all dex saves. Okay. And you do have the ability <laughs> to half, right? Automatically? No, you. What? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right. So you didn't save, obviously, with that. So you will take half of whatever damage she's doing. So, right? That's what evade, right? Yeah, that's a seventh level. That's a seventh level. Okay. Rogue spell. It's fun. It's a thing. Rogue ability. All right. I got to. It's not my Jesus Christ, the amount of dice you have every time. <laughs> I wonder what a ninth level fireball would be. A ninth level fireball? Ninth? I mean, here, we can find They're out. Not... Hey, babe! 14d6. Jeez. Wait, that's not what you're doing right now. Okay. Only doing uh, right. The drow rolled a 19. That's right there. For next save. <clears throat> For a save. So I'm still waiting on your damage. Six. Six. Oh. Here's wow. a six. How many did you roll? Eight? Here's a six. My and God. here's a five. 20, so it vaporized. <laughs> wow. 29 points? 29. Yes. All One, right. So two, 14 four. points of damage to those that, ex that saved. And I gotta make sure. Uh... Wait, did one get stuck? I swear I grabbed it. Was that not eight total? That's seven. I not grab. Just one That's enough. Where did it? Oh, what's on? Thirty-two. Okay, so thirty-two instead. Okay, so 16 points. Sorry, that's 16 points of damage now. That it we, was 14? It was 14, okay. so two more points of damage. Uh, I just got to do this real fast. You know what? Do it fast. I use the calculator here. I like doing everything in my head, but... Plus... Okay. Hey. 
And Ooh. as a bonus action, dash and go right behind them. Okay, so now the light goes away again. <laughs> you had a small glimpse of the guy, and then a big old fiery <laughs> explosion all of a sudden it occurs yes. with, the, with the fire just rolling into your face, and you just like take your cape that you have and kind of cover yourself as you as you brace for uh, the impact. Uh, not doing as much damage as it probably would have done since you saved, but still taking some fire damage, knowing you know. who that possibly came from. So, all right, uh, boss, it is your turn. Sweet. Yeah, well, assuming you're done, you use both yeah, action. Move. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get in front to here. You're gonna move 15 feet. Yep. Uh, I can barely see this, right? I don't know on your screen how how's your vision? Uh, not dark vision. No. Oh. I don't know. I That's why I need a room. Come on. With your angle of your screen, I can barely see it. Uh, like I said, Bart's vision on my screen is what I mostly can see, and it's hard to determine it's where you dim. guys can see. So what would that be? Yeah, it's definitely in dim, it looks like. But you can see it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, dim lighting. Is that disadvantage? I it depends what you're trying to do. Well, I'm trying. I can't get there. I know that because I use 15, so another... Oh, maybe I can. Yeah, I'm going to move there. Fuck it. I'm going to move right in front and... Okay. Oh, I have my torch. That's right. Uh, anyways, that was why I could see so good. And I'm going to... Drop your torch so that we can pull a weapon uh, out. Yep. Anyways, I'm going to use my great axe. I'm not going into rage. See clearly. Okay. The boss. So oh, I didn't mean to click that. Ah, never mind. What? I missed my first one. Oh my I got a ten. Does that hit? Uh, no, ten's not going to hit. Yeah, I'm gonna roll regular dice because I didn't mean to hit it the first time. Uh, eighteen this time. Did you roll multiple dice? No, I rolled one. It was just one. Okay. I had my curse dice in the tray, so that way. Okay. It'll never roll. Um, you go in, you miss on the first one. Mm -hmm. She whips her sword around and parries your your axe for it, the second one. That wasn't the question I was going to ask. Huh? Is this the one that we saw before? Yeah. Okay. Because the hunter's mark Weird. is is telling you that that is the one oh, that you uh, that you marked that ran off. Echo skill. So, yes. here's the thing. You drop your torch, correct? Yes. Where'd you drop it? Just a, just a, just a normal torch, right? Yeah. yeah. Wood stick with a little bit of wrapping around it, maybe? Yeah. yeah. You dropped it on the ground? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's roll to see if it stays lit. What am I rolling I think I'm going to roll for that and see if it stays lit. That's okay. right. We are in the swamp. Sorry. Basically, <laughs> that's, no, we're, on land. Not, we're on land. Basically. It's moist. No, we're not moist. <laughs> <laughs> it is moist. Basically, <laughs> like, you drop it, you swung, it's falling down, it hits the ground, and we're going to see if it stays lit up. If it does stay lit up, it's probably going to dim down a little bit. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to see... If it stays lit. Your torch goes out. Cool. Dun dun dun. I I literally rolled like a twenty. And the higher the number, the more likely it was gonna go out. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was doing that. If it was a low number, it was going to save. Sorry, I flip-flopped it on myself here, but I was like, going out, if it, if, basically I was rolling to see if it goes out. So if it made the DC, it was going to go out. If it was under the DC, it was staying, uh, it was going how, to dim How does it go out? So, yes, this, this cave, 
this floor everywhere has been very humid and damp anyways. The ground you walk on, whether it's solid or not, is still pretty pretty well damped as, as well. So you drop it, you start swinging, and as you swing and get parried, that's when the torch hits and you just hear fizzle out uh, as it happens to hit a foot-sized puddle of okay. moistened soil water okay. right there. So, um, you will, the torch isn't completely gone. You can always relight it. I'm just saying it's, it's out for right now. I, you can see in the dark. Uh, I'll, I'll rage. I wasn't going to, but now I am. Well, I thought that's what you would have done to begin with. It's rage. Well, he got hit with the fireball. Boss don't know how much damage it took. I saw the fireball, so I figured it was weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you assumed wrong. <laughs> Still fighting. Uh, okay, so you're going to go ahead and go into rage now. So, yeah. okay. Pissed off that you're torch. God damn it! Perkwin. Yes. When does the fuck? After what? After Peter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, we rolled high on this Yeah, one. a lot. everybody but one rolled high. I mean, you guys are pretty well stacked, and they're not even, they haven't even had a turn just yet. So, if someone could cast light, that'd help. Got that that there. That's not his expertise. I did not yeah. pay attention. I did not hear you say that. You don't have the light spell? I do not have the light spell. You know, the white person the light that did have the light I spell could have here. Wizard, Maybe. Maybe. He don't know that. <laughs> yes, he does. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know if he could. Yeah, he had the light spell. It's not in his expertise area. He would just change the color. Yeah, I remember that. That literally makes sense. Cancer, it? He's a lightning dragonborn who does all kinds of fucking chromatic so shit. So his name literally has light in it. Light means. That's not his name. Perkwin, does your name mean light? Uh, no. Exactly. There you go. All right. I, I don't know what it means. It just randomly gave it to me. Yeah. What is kind. it being it's apparent, the best kind. right? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> what is Peter going to do? Um, well, Peter doesn't really have a light source at the moment. No, sorry. And we are the best <laughs> group of the light time characters. It, honestly, I mean, literally, if he would have pulled out anything but his axe, like a one handed item, I would the torch would have been. Just, just fine in his hand. Guess who doesn't have a one-handed item? So, um, did you get back your short sword? Yes, it's not mine. I guess it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. if I I can go into the hybrid form, right? Uh, yes, yes, you can still go into hybrid form. Yes. <laughs> okay, and that's an action, right? I believe that is. Do, does it not show it on yours? It does not on the new. Updated. Go ahead. Up. Because I don't get to choose that. I don't get to choose the subclass for the okay. class until third level. But then, if we're base, if we're basing off the original one, the original one was an action to do yeah. that. Then for right now, that's still considered okay. action. When when you gain more control over it, then it moves over to a bonus action. Okay. And then I'm going to use my action to go into the hybrid form where I have the. Uh, so you could get dark vision, basically. Uh, well, yeah, it's the uh, echo location, right? And then I, I believe Marco. it's still turned on for you. Yes, because when he moved in, you could see it, right? Polo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. You know, I may. Bart, we we may we may have to do something during the break, on on something to see if that works for you. Uh, okay, and that's going to end your turn. Yep. Yeah, it's it's cosmetic. It's nothing. It's nothing bad. Just reminder. Okay. Uh, then it goes to BF. This is who I've got next with uh, Bernice right after. Uh, Bart gonna go screaming into battle. <laughs> okay. And uh, smash this guy with my ball. Uh, dirty 20. Uh, dirty 20 is going to hit. 
Uh, I'm going to pump in a Divine Smite too. then. You want to get a flash of light with that? It's radiant damage. Uh, 21 points uh, of damage on that attack. All right. And then second attack. Fifteen, right? Fifteen. Yep. No, it's it's not fifteen. Fifteen on the dice. It's not fifteen. Uh, she just likes to agree with you. So, <laughs> then that's going to make it twenty-three. Okay, well then that's going to oh, hit. 24 on that last one. What did I, what did I say for damage? Uh, 21. 21 plus 4, 25 on that. Sorry. Okay. Plus 4 with them all. Too. And then this damage is 8, 10. Cool. Um, all right. So. 11. What? Right, 100 mark. Oh. For those of you that can see and hear, you hear Bart run in. Ah! Ah, boom! Boom! When you hear that kind of divine, inter divine energy just kind of Poor erupt. Uh, kind of erupt from it. Uh, he brings her down to her knee as she's sitting there trying to, like, looking up. You still don't recognize the verbal words that are coming out of her mouth. And as you go down for the second strike, you do hear another voice that uh, screams out in a language that you do recognize as they scream, No! But you smack her across the face, finishing her off with your mouth, uh, with your maul. Sorry, not your mouth, your maul. <laughs> with your maul. You, left uh, you smack her across the face, seeing uh, a big gash is just right across in an impact as she now lays on the ground, dead. The one screaming to your left, you see, is chained against the wall. Is that who was screaming now? That's the one that was screaming. Chained yeah, against the wall. See. I don't know. Somewhat singed and burned from a fireball. <laughs> has screamed, has, has screamed, no, uh, no, but it is a male, it is a male drow, but he seems to be chained to a wall. Um, barely, his feet barely touching the ground. Again, description as they look like they're kind of dangling there, barely kind of touching the ground. Looking kind of worse for wear. But not like on death's door or anything just yet. It looks like maybe he's been there for a day or two, possibly. Uh, but he he screamed no in 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 a elvish tongue. Uh, as you slay the route warrior that was in front of you. Okay. That is out of combat now, by the way. This person cannot hurt you or harm you. They are chained to a wall. Combat has ended now. I figured it wasn't going to get to their turn, especially since I rolled a nine for their initiative. <laughs> yeah, I, I rolled kind of poorly. And I even gave them an advantage since they heard you coming, and I still rolled poorly. So, what are you guys going to do? I want to go punch this man. I can't hear you. I want to go punch the man. The 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 man who's chained up against the wall that you hit with a fireball. Yes. <laughs> oh, my word. The man who can't do anything to defend himself. Yes, you're exactly. going up there to to, to no. you're going to run up and punch him. No, I want to punch Bart. <laughs> oh. Wow. Move your character so the rest of us can see. Bart's scary. <laughs> Mouth. Gonna move your character. Okay, I pick up my torch and I light it again. Bart's gonna move over to the, the male drow then. Since I'm five feet from him. Okay. And he's hanging. He's hanging. He's changing the, the wall. And I ready the maul and I asked him why I shouldn't finish him. Because he didn't hurt you. He didn't hurt your feelings. She did. In what language do you say this in? 
<laughs> Who would you like me to speak, my I brother? I speak it in common to start with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take the dead drop ears off and I put them in my book. <laughs> Why? Whoa. Yeah, that's what he's doing. I, I asked. Wow. I and he said he put his face on the book and smearing blood off of his face on the well, book. Well, draw elf ears are worth money. I don't think so. Sir, After listen, seeing that, I moved it's towards Barton. I'm just like, them. uh, I don't want to. But right, so we can't hold, take hold, one through. Hold, hold on, hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. As you're asking this, you see him get a little restless in a way as he looks like he's not even acknowledging your question as he's yelling at the big oaf that's trying to cut off that person's ears. Stop it! Yo, yeah, yeah. Don't do that! That is disgraceful! You know, I'm... Yep. I'm Keep doing it with honor! Yeah, I'm doing... Oh, I'm do you speak it. Elvish? No. Oh, fuck. You I don't know what the fuck he said. No, I'm not. I'm still doing it. No, stop. Yeah, focus on me. Focus. Focus. No. Again, why are we... I'm talking to him. You know, as he's in Elvish, right? He, he's spoken Elvish towards him, but you, you've been yeah, saying this in common, though, right? Uh, but you've been saying this in common, though, right? Yes. Okay. Because you know. He, you, <laughs> because you know. You see. You do see him acknowledge you like he looks down. And as you spoke in common, and obviously he's not fucking react, he looks at you and says, Tell that big oaf to knock it off. Knock it off. <laughs> and he says that it's in common. But he says it's in calm common. Down. Did you hear Grab that? Another... No, I'm still raging. I'm taking the fucking ears. I will rage you into the wall. <laughs> Bernice, I will. Yeah, I, I direct Bernice. To... I'm gonna grab, try to grab, attempt to <sighs> grapple him and stop him. No, I'll help you. You notice as you're grappling him to try to stop him, he's already got one ear off. Damn it! Now and then, so then, in Elvish. Reluctant. <laughs> I speak to him in Elvish. How fluent is your Elvish? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fluent. You don't, you don't really pretty... like it. I, mean, I know. I, 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 but it, it, you're it, rusty. It, Let's just put it that way. Yeah. It's it's not great. And I do it with definite dwarvish accent. <laughs> just to spite. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, what's, you know what's funny uh, is the fact that he doesn't expect any less of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's surprised that you do speak Elvish, I'm sure, but... <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe a little surprised, but at the same time, just the, the, the way you pronounce your words and the way you're doing it, it's not like he expected you to... <laughs> <laughs> show any type of respect, I guess, for him. That's right. So, uh, so what was your question again? I asked him why I shouldn't finish him now. <clears throat> because I am not your enemy. Sure. Convincing. Yeah. yeah. I, I ask in Elvish, do you know where the Scythians, is that how you said it? Who we're looking for? Did you take care of him? Did you Sturgis? tackle him? Yes. I rolled a uh, 21. What's the strength check? The strength, yeah. the strength. I got advantage. If I need to, I'll come into the bear mode. That is with all your pluses? Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. That's one. She'll, she'll, she's going to beat me. still be pack tactics if you were in? Bear hand him. Oh, 22. <laughs> um, I'm taking the other ear. <laughs> oh, no, you are not. I jump into bear and tackle you. Okay, there after seeing the bear, bear, after seeing the bear, I get I come back to my senses. And I don't take the other ear. Thorn, you're with me here? Yeah. So, if you're turning a bear, please mark off one of your forms. You know, this is a good one. And so I look over my shoulder and, and watch this whole thing go down. <laughs> he, he pretty much pauses that he's trying to answer you and seeing this fucking yeah. thing of your guys just now going at each other. Hey, look, guys, I'm gonna make a necklace. So I don't even have to. I don't even have to do it myself. I'll sick the bear on you. Wow. Intimidation check? Oh no, I'll do it. No, no, like, can he get that? I'm not even trying to intimidate him. I'm just talking to him. You're just telling him the truth? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no intimidation, but it's the truth. Have anyone been in front of an yeah. actual fucking bear? How does I've been thrown several times. How does... In I real ridden, life. I've ridden. Oh. 
Yeah, I've ridden okay. a bear. Oh, okay. They're like this. She's ridden the bear. Mean, you've ridden the bear. We've ridden the bear. Ridden the bear. Okay. It tastes like berries. Yeah, it was, it was uh, so anyway, yeah, just trying to decide if Valkuna is, is, um, you know, he is a defenseless combatant. Yes. However, he's a drow. <laughs> no. Did the drow yes. kidnap a drow? I mean, one on one. It's it's one to one. So we're we're trying to figure out. Right. Yeah, well, all, all this all this commotion has happened in the midst of it. So it's like uh, you know, saying, "I am not your enemy." The fuck. <laughs> and then you hear a bear roaring and shit, and then finally he, he you know, he's like, fine, fine, whatever, you know. And it's just, it's, it's, it's one of those. If he could, he'd just be going like this, you know, rubbing his head against his his face, it's going gone, the yeah. fuck. But he can't. His hands are up here, going. Fuck. In Elvish, I ask him how he got into this predicament anyway. Any string. So. One yeah. of your questions that you're also oh, were trying to in, add into there was, was do you know the uh, Slytherin? Oh, yes. Yeah. He kind of yelled over his shoulder. Right. Right. Yeah. So, 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 so yeah. So, as he's saying, as that. he was saying, I, I am not your enemy no, I use on, on my this. Because, one, he is chained up. And then seeing the commotion, then you're yelling back at it. He goes, precisely. Yes, I do know the Slytherin. They are the ones that chained me here to die. They found out that I did not con- to I did not I did not come to their control, and since I did not bend my will to their way, I was punished. The one the one you killed in front of me was one of my companions. They were being controlled by the Slytherin. I know my way on this floor. I know where they are. I can help. Tell me where they are. Just beyond the passageways around, you will find them. I turn around and look, and so I can see that there's three exits. Right? Right. I can see there's three. Which way? And I point over my shoulder. Which one? Seeing how you're capable enough to just kill me and slit my throat, how do I know that you won't do that as soon as I point your way? You don't. <laughs> Either that or bear food. The, the, the chance yeah. is lower as soon as you tell us. I die either way. You leave me no. here, I die. You kill me, I tell you, I die. You know, I look at death as being a way that it is not... How about living Going without convinced. ears? No bears eat from the butt would first, you, right? Would you, would, would you do something with him? I just made the necklace out of ears. Let's do something with him. So I, I'm going to point out, I've been, we've been saying this in Elvish, so anybody who speaks oh, Elvish Oh, yeah, that's true. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. Because of the fact that he switched over oh, to Elvish. You don't know Elvish? No, I don't know Elvish. Oh, I, don't I know Elvish. Elvish. I wish oh, I didn't. Okay, you did? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't say anything then. Uh but he has been speaking Elvish this whole time since you now been you, you went from know, common to I Elvish. Speak Elvish. I don't so you don't hear, you're not understanding any of this then. No. Right. Uh, I'm just making my uh, my ear neck. And Elvish, I tell him tell you to take care of him. Move him away. He, but he uh, that drow does make it a point saying yeah, it's like, right. look, yes. I can tell you, but I don't know if you're gonna spare my life. And even if you spare my life, I die here at the chain. So what's what what is his incentive to even help to tell you he wants to be down and free because he wants to kill him as well. I'm done with this guy. You, you're done with this guy? this guy? I mean, why don't we just set him free? I mean, listen. Are you saying this in Dwarven? Listen. <laughs> no, it's, it's an Elvish. He, right now, he's chained up and he is a non combatant. But we unchain him, he gets a weapon, he's a combatant. Against me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can kill him. <laughs> but that's, you should just leave him above table of the earth and you have to clear your god's gonna be like okay cool whatever he got a chance i mean his god's dwarvish i don't think he'll care anyways no. <laughs> that's a, that was just about it. i said leave him you're messed up let him what what if this was in your hands it's, what if you were chained to that wall it's not on me well, it wouldn't and i'd be turn around him down and walk away no and we were the drought corn give me a perception check Mal, you can give me one. Does Thor move away too? Yeah. 
Well, this is before he moved away. Yeah. Disadvantage, right? Because I'm... Is that an ability check? It's an ability check, yeah. yeah. It's an advantage. Can Bertram see... I think it's some of this happening. I mean, the it's light funny. is. Right oh, yeah, now. he wants to move. No, he's like he's still just. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> and listening, he hears. He definitely hears. Wait, he you understand? see your companions, but you can't quite know. see the guy. Bertram knows elf. No, I don't see shit. I didn't think Bertram. Bertram does know elvish. Common elvish and thieves can. Oh, Bertram does. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't see shit. Well, what would you get? It was a three. You are having a right. hell of a day. Yeah. Okay. I don't even want to smite. Though. Well, this 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 slightly makes sense to you why you why you're trying to converse with me then, Elvis. Yeah. Now this kind of is Bernice, is Bernice right? But I got I got staring others at talking. At and, and yeah. I walk away and just tell Bert on you. It's on you. I'm the it's on me. <laughs> it's on you. Okay. Hey. Oh, I got a bandage. Already made the elf necklace. Yeah, but I'm putting the rest of the... Well, that's on that's just... smells, though, right? <laughs> that's foul. <laughs> okay. I got charisma. Okay, the, the, reason, the reason why Mal is more or less on the side of maybe freeing this guy and have him help us is he noticed that he is not dressed like most uh, drow that you guys have come across as far as... The uh, I want to say coven, but the, as far as the the drow that belong to a certain faction, family, family. Thank you. He's almost dressed like an adventurer, as somebody who is not part of the drow society that you've right now come across. We can speak to you right now, and that's why she seems to be more or less trying to persuade you guys to and bear. Uh, Mal is as a bear? And, yeah, and as she, bear. She's kind of almost putting herself in between him and you guys in a way. Stop. Kind of like Rrr. collaborate and listen. Yeah, I just walk away and, the, the, and tell The Peter scent and, and the stuff that he, to me. He's, on you. he's on. Okay. So Stop. <laughs> I'm going I to go back into Mal. He's already said <laughs> he will exchange whatever information you want. He's already given you kind of a a direction, but he will give you more information. He wants to be free to get the fuck out of here in a way, or to help you guys with whatever. But he, if you There's want your questions answered, he wants to be free. It's not him right. coming out of the closet. So, what I'm thinking is, one act of kindness goes a long way. So, let's free him. You know, doesn't need to know. Putting, Bart, Bart leaving, is, leaving him in chains would be the same thing what the drow did to me. So we should let him go. That's the right decision. He's given us the information we need. Yeah. And, I mean, there's a 50-50 shot he'll make it back to the surface. There's probably a greater shot that he'll probably die before getting back to the surface. I mean, he could have a better chance, but who knows? Okay. So, you were left alone to make that decision yeah. in a way by Bart as he walked away. I'm going to free him. Okay, so, he's chained up with mandibles, manacles, whatever. You're, you're mad oh. again, right? Mm-hmm. So, well, you, uh, you want to, like... Lockpick this. Is it lockpickable? Yeah, certainly has a keyholes to do. Uh, I believe that's sleight of hand. Bart roll. Don't even there. Twenty nine. Okay. So as she comes back and you guys kind of have this conversation and you agree, she's like, "Yes." <laughs> but we know. Real quick, yeah. they're not very. They're not the greatest chain cuffs, what, whatever, in the world. Like, they don't have a magical lock or nothing. You just hear and freeze them. As, as he does, he kind of drops down, but he drops a little bit further than, than normal because he hasn't really been using his legs for the past day or two. Barely using his tippy toes to, you know, kind of lift him up to give his wrist just a little bit of a break. 
He kind of slides down. He's on his ass, knees kind of up in the air. He rubs his wrists. What information do you want? I will give you. First, I'm going to help him up. Okay. Uh, he He's strong, but it's it's one of those, like, you know, you just got done running a you know good solid couple of miles. Your legs are shaky, so he's a little shaky, but he appreciates that. You know, you see him kind of thank you. So where are what are we looking for again? The serpent people. Yes, yeah, see the and see the and slitherins. I think yeah. is what we call them. <laughs> All I know is I'm pouting because Bernice took my ear. Nick. You did? I took the string. I didn't. I don't the know. Not, if I the ear was on it. Oh yes, I did. Good. Keep it away from him. I will. Says the lady with skull. Hey, Can you mend I'm an ear back on? I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it work and it's that especially way. not on dead flesh. Um, I mean, I can fix it. I have a needle and thread. <laughs> he tells. He, I might need he tells you. No, you're not. Kind of just drawing in in the in the sand ways a little bit. The dirt was what whatnot. Take that path will lead you straight into their den. Okay. Be careful. They have a way of controlling people's minds. That's the lowest intelligence. If I were you, <laughs> I would not seek this fight, but I'm not you and you have more numbers than we had coming down here there was another male that was with her where did he go um he's don't. he's he dead on a hole. further yeah. he's dead further back Wait, is he speaking elvish or common i'm speaking elvish he's been speaking elvish okay aren't we enough I am going to take care of these two. And be back with you if you want. And I will help you. Uh -huh. If you don't need my help, then I will return back and meet with hopefully my other companion who's not down here. Uh, if you want to give me a sec and talk to the rest of the group. Do we want him coming with us? I mean... If he can help, I guess. I mean... You. It's on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, slightly welcome singed. to the group, dude. The slightly <laughs> singed almost has two exhaustion points on him. <laughs> Barely standing type, type of drow. And you're like, you, you say, yeah, yeah sure, we'll, we'll use your help. Face uh, what you want. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. He's probably dude. Listen, we'll we'll go take care of this. You go get your rest, and if you need help getting back to the surface, and we don't die in the next room, maybe we'll help you get back to the surface. Why'd Who knows? Point at me. Uh, uh, well, there's more than one reason why you got pointed at. But anyway, yeah. Well, you see. This this is where Perkwin is on on the map, and then here's all of you. So pointing that direction <laughs> is pointing towards all of you. Okay, that makes more sense. Right. How how is everybody looking? I'm good. I'm fine. Huh? Oh, I'm peachy. <laughs> he's dying. Pretty sure. No. Well, he's got. He's some, mentally something. He, he has he, he has a mental, mental problem. <laughs> yeah. for, for those that want to know what his nightmare was, we should probably look at the last episode that was played. And that you will get the information on what happened to him. But that's neither here nor there. I guess, can I see you? I can't Which way out? So, Bertram, you over there being stealthy, you happen to notice that, that this elf, this this other drow, since the, it's, the area is kind of lit up, walks over to the dead body that's on the floor that you can clearly see and begins to do something to the body. Um, almost looks like not really patching them up or anything like that because they're they're dead more or less i think cleaning them up presentably or so and dress you know fixing their clothes they used to look like prepping possibly for maybe a burial or, or some some sorts but you do definitely see a drow what does 
What, what what does he do in this situation? As your companions don't seem to be attacking this guy right now. No, I'm just watching. Stealth hiding. Okay. Bart roll of perception. He didn't see Bert. Bert. He didn't see Bertrams. Well, I'll tell you though that that female drow that went down definitely saw you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They had a very. They have a very good perception check uh, that I rolled, but they didn't get to do anything. So it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so you guys are going to gather up. He told you, he, he gave you a direction saying that if you want to go straight to the den, this passage right over here uh, is the passage that will take you straight to the den. You want me to hear? Yeah, I mean, it'll take you straight straight to the den, meaning like if you follow that pathway, it's going to take you where you need to go if, if you want to go there. All right. Yeah. Um, but he is, he is definitely looking like he's prepping, uh, the body or whatnot for possibly a burial. Like he's going to maybe bury him right here. So he told us which way to go. Yes. He Let's told Perkwin. He yes, definitely told Perkwin where, where to go. I know where to go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all the song. <laughs> all right so uh regrouping back in your separate bird. order well bertram's in the back always in, to begin with yeah, he's just gonna still hang out right here okay mm-hmm. hiding i swear if you kill him i'm gonna kill you <laughs> <laughs> all right Bart- <laughs> A new stealth check on this one. Oh. Uh, mouse is not cooperating with me today. You give him cheese? Okay. So I got you guys back in the group. But uh, this is actually a pretty good spot right here to take a just a quick quick 15 minute break. Uh, That'll allow me to maybe possibly change a few things uh, cosmetically that I need to change, and uh, give us a quick little little restroom break in case anybody needs your restroom or take a smoke. So, guys, we will be right back. Hey, you guys, we are back from our short rest here to continue on uh, with our adventure here, uh, where we left off. You guys finished your chase towards that female drow. As she was pretty much being slain, you heard a cry out of no that was in Elvish. You guys spoke with the guy that was chained against the wall who had spoken out saying no. After upon some debate, it was left to Perquin to decide what fate this guy will take. He chose the kinder way of freeing the guy and getting information, more information out of him as he kind of gave you a, a, a map of sorts, kind of telling you which direction you should go, if that is what you choose to do so. Otherwise, he is going to take care of his two companions that were pretty much one was slayed in front of him and the other one back there. He also expressed to you that to be careful, they have a way of mind-controlling uh, people. And that is what happened to his companions. It did not happen to him, which is why he was chained to this wall here. He did not bend to their 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 ways of what they wanted. So, <clears throat> agreeing to let him go, he begins to kind of prep the female companion that was right there, kind of changing, uh, straightening up her clothes a little bit, taking off uh, a few pieces that didn't really make sense like armor wise that didn't really go with her I guess in a way he's taking off some armor or he may be using it we don't know yet right but he does seem to be prepping her kind of more for a burial sense you guys regroup other than Bertram regroup in the, in, in your formation and getting ready to proceed on uh, in the direction that he had pointed out so how long does Bertram wait before he acts or moves? He's just going to stand and stay and walk. Okay, so he's just going to stay where he's at. Yep. All right. So the group heads off. 
Bertrand's just in the back. Nobody really notices that he's gone, even that he's missing in action. Does anyone care? Well, well, the qu- question is, how often does Mal check behind her? <laughs> That's, That's the true. real question. I think we should be asking. How often does Mal check behind her for Bertram since he keeps trying to require the uh, wand for himself? Uh, but you guys moved on. Uh, you came over here. You know, you took a quick, brief stop right here because uh, as you're rounding this little area, you come across a uh, wooden table that seems to be covered with a bunch of interesting materials and whatnot on top of it. It actually kind of looks like alchemist supplies uh, that are on the north wall uh, is where the table is, that gap that's right there that I left you. Uh, It is a 10-foot high ceiling right here in this area, but you do notice that you got the alchemy, everything is damp basically around here. Uh, but you got the alchemist table and everything else. Anybody want to do anything? You guys moving on? Is there anything like, uh, like any vials or anything that look like they have liquid in them on the alchemist table? There's some that look like they have liquid in it. True. Yes. Um, are you wanting to look at some of this? Sure. Okay. I'll be your test subject. It doesn't look like. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's been used for quite a while. Uh, you pick up some of the vials and you look at it, you kind of swish it around. Um, it looks just like a darkish brown gray type liquid. And almost all the vials kind of various shades, but almost all look the same. Like they essentially just gone bad. Maybe. You really want to try this potion? I mean, or, pot, or whatever this is. Yep, I'll try it. All right, I'll give him one of them for him to try. Okay. What am I rolling here? Constitution save. Is there no light where Bertram is then? He shut off his lantern, covered it. So yeah, there's no light where yeah. Bertram is. It's pitch black. Okay. Uh, one, twenty-two. Nine plus thirteen, twenty-two. It wasn't a very difficult check because um, <laughs> basically you have just drank something that doesn't really sit well in your stomach, but it doesn't make you want to throw up or nothing. As you pretty much drink whatever runoff water that is coming from the ceiling into this vial, mm, <laughs> it delicious. tastes like dirt and foul water, almost stagnant yes. water. So more of an ale. Worse. Oh, that's a way to die. That's right we're talking a lot of smack. <laughs> I'm talking to the DM, Spidey. first of all. I mean, you're in smiting range. <laughs> <laughs> my my it, god will give me a smite just for this. <laughs> it's, it's worse. It's It doesn't get you drunk. That's That's oh. the worst part of it. It doesn't get you drunk. It's basically muddy, done. stagnant type water that was in there. Oh, that's it. Okay. So, <laughs> with the Constitution save, you basically keep yourself from throwing up, and you down the whole son of a bitch. So, congratulations on you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a little bit of grit. <laughs> yep, minerals. <laughs> <laughs> you can taste that iron, but I mean. <laughs> I have to taste that iron. Fish. I mean, there's more vials. You can try all of them. Sure. Let's, let's keep going. This is just dirt water. As they're doing this, Bertram is, uh, is going to um, disappeared. Make a dash. I'm gonna open his lantern. He's over there. And seen him. Run by the elf. And as he runs by the elf and elvish, he's gonna say, "Betrayus." And and just out of the blue, light on. Right by him, out the door. Out the door. All right, you keeping it at uh, 10 feet by 10 feet, so 20 yep. foot light source? Yep. Well, in only one direction, right? Four well, direction. I can do directional, but I'm just... Well, okay, just for... You know, yeah, I'm just, do, I'm just doing that. Yeah. Well, flick it on, but yeah, you can, you can move your token yeah. uh, further. Uh, I'm going to dash 
and I'll and I will dash by him when he was in the middle of the room there with his little companion. Okay. And does he make any reaction? Does he? Well, first of all, just the fact that you were running across uh, kind of made him startled a little bit. Yeah. He did reach for the weapon that was there because he didn't know what yeah. the fuck was going yeah, yeah. on. I mean, it was just that quick. Yeah, he, he didn't know you were there because of the fact that you were hitting off to the side and he didn't yeah. notice you. Wasn't looking for you either. Uh, but he stopped quickly as as you were you continued running running past him. Doesn't give you any remark back. Yeah. But other than the startledness of just grabbing to defend himself with a weapon or whatnot, sure. he Basically, as you run by, if you take a quick glance over your shoulder, he kind of moves his hand away from the weapon and continues doing what he's doing. All right, he's going to give him more thought. And then I'm going to, um, as I come around, uh, stealth. What is with this guy? I don't know. It makes for an interesting day, right? Yeah, but it, 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 that, I, I rolled a 1 and a 19 this time. What? That's, that's, so that's a 30 stealth. Jesus. I come up behind. Mal and Steve. What's going on? I'll turn around and punch you. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what would happen. <laughs> really would. Yeah. I can see it happening. That's <laughs> <laughs> four, I think. 18. Oh. Uh, 18? I think that hits. Yeah, I was 17. Oh, they're in the nose. <laughs> I try to glance out of the way, but it's just enough. I... <laughs> okay, so were you mean? Did you mean to cause any damage? Yes. <laughs> That's my nose hand. It has. You should have an unarmed strike thing. Yeah. What does it say for damage? It says one. You take one yeah. point of damage. <laughs> I figured that's what it was going to be, was you could take one point of damage, but I just wanted to... Holy shit, to... light. Yeah. What did you say? What was that for? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I know. I'm sorry. I, I changed transparency off a few things so I could see what people were seeing. And yeah. yeah. I wanted to see... Oh, wow. Totally I wanted to see her light source, and that's what happened, so... That's amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll fix what it. What do you back mean? What was that for? Later. I like it. You should I just ask what's going on. Maybe next time, don't sneak behind. Maybe next time, check where you fire. Well, then maybe next time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Good point. He's got a good point. Yeah. How am I supposed to know you're over there? I, I, I pat, I reach over and I pat your shoulder. Uh, how many times I, you hit me with fireball? I cast Not your enough. wound at third level on you. Or let's see, it's three. <clears throat> wow, that one little punch made her go into heal mode. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. She punched me. I did snap back. You're gonna bleed to death. Uh, but... Fifteen points. I was already no, bleeding wait, wait, and on wait. fire. Twenty-five points. And on fire. You get twenty-five. <laughs> There's little embers burning around. Yeah. <laughs> Sin marks on my cake. That's not my fault. But it's not not your fault. No, it's not my fault. He disappeared. And I, it's later on the hall. I hold in. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> We're headed to get these uh, snake guys. We're playing. Uh, What's the most interesting thing we can get, boss? The drink. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm thinking I'm drinking another one, right? Word. All right. Let's. Uh, is there anything else interesting? Sure. If you really want to grab another one, there's there's like four or five more. But can I just roll like four or five dice and just drink them all? <laughs> yeah. You have to add That's three to all of your rolls. It's, no, he doesn't have. Throw. He doesn't have That's to. True. I don't have to let everyone roll my rolls. No, just don't. Doesn't worry have about to. Thorn can walk away. <laughs> add three. Okay, or, or, so I got twelve to my dice rolls. Just, just this. There right you go. Yeah, he just, he just. Moves. All right, so I'm rolling five dice right here, just, just in case. In I'm gonna roll five I'm dice. Tired guy. Okay. <laughs> Lean against the wall. <laughs> the lowest one I got was 10 plus 12. The highest I got was 
17 plus 12. So I, 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 I like to point out, though, the more you drink, the higher the DC starts going up. Whether you succeed or not, like I don't lower it for this because technically you're drinking, like drinking foul, stagnant water and you're putting more and more and more in you. So the DC is gradually going up. Uh, so where I had it, let's see here. Um, just, just, I'll start naming every single one of them. 22 is the first one. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. What's 13 plus 12? That's 25. Uh-huh. And then 27, 28, and 29. Thank you, Thorne, by the way, yeah, for the plus no three. I mean, he, he kind of backed away, but whatever. Uh, He's right there. But I just put it just so whenever he moves his, moves all of us around. Oh, my character would be off to the side, away from everybody at this point. What my tenacity is there. Hmm? Nice three from all of those. Okay. So, first one, perfectly fine. Held it down just fine. Um... Again, stomach, eh, not liking it too much. The second one, which would be the 22. Okay, okay, this is this is definitely not good, but we're going to continue going, apparently. <laughs> um, the third one, which is the 25. Again, you're, I mean, who's standing next to you, Perkwin? Yeah, <laughs> you're you're hearing noises coming from his gut that doesn't sound very We're not very good. Step back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here. So that was that one. Doesn't matter. Check out. Doesn't Shield. You just made the DC on that? with the twenty-seven. You okay. just made the DC on that one. Hail, hail, vomit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just explodes just like that. Just <laughs> <laughs> which way is it coming out? That's the question. Ew. You get you get to your fourth one. That's that's the fourth one after the or it'd be fourth one total, including the one he handed to you earlier. So that'll be that's the twenty eight. You get to you get to that one. You hesitate for a minute as it's pressed against your lips, smelling. Foul, but for some reason you still down this fucking vial. And <laughs> you're not sure which way this is going to be coming out of you, but it is coming out of you. Um, because you failed on that one. And yeah. So <laughs> you you throw up you, you spill like it just just all over the freaking table you spew, spew you're head. still holding one in your hand but all this liquid and everything else just comes gushing out of your mouth and is just now covered the whole table with your vomit that is disgusting oh my god what did you eat? are you drinking this last one Foul. yeah Okay. I rolled for it. I have to. I have to drink it. As you go, go to press it against your lips to do it, you are, you end up spewing again into the vial as you're trying to take. And you try to choke down this one. It comes back up within just a matter of you just go. Whoa! Yeah. Um. Yeah. That. <laughs> That was a very uh, horrible <laughs> sensation. Uh, for the next 24 hours, you have diarrhea. Uh, and I will be making <laughs> I will be making you roll roll what? A die to see if you shit yourself. <laughs> when you put a diaper on this man. Yes. What's a diaper? So it depends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> dad joke insert here. <laughs> <laughs> and if you shit yourself during combat, you will lose your action. Okay, <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> that makes sense. Wow. Just okay. let me know. So. Oh my god. So what you're telling me is you're gonna make me shit during combat. <laughs> your die is gonna make you shit during combat, not me. Uh huh. Sure. And again, I'm gonna write down a number. What am I doing? One hundred twenty. You're gonna roll a d ten or d twenty. Uh, I'm gonna write down a number here, and again, it's gonna progressively get go up every time you pass. Because again, it's building up. Can I voluntarily shit myself? Like shit, my, go it's take a, a free shit. action. You can always shit yourself if you've got a shit, but it's a 24 hour type of bug. I get it's it. one of those ones that. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's going to hit you at a random, a random right, fucking But will time. it go down if I go and take a shit? That's bullshit. Oh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, no, it's. it's we, it, it, it's something that may or may not occur. I don't know yet. I am just doing this. What did you make me drink? drink? I I didn't make you drink it. You volunteered to drink it. I'm using a second wind bike. I I mean you. Okay. I don't know how far down you were, but all right, yeah. You need all right. You all you had to do was drink the first one. You didn't have to drink the others. You just. Drink but when the you others. line them up like that, I'm you know, just going to drink. You did a something stupid, so you got a stupid consequence. All I saw was <laughs> shots. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear from was DJ shots, Mal shots, over here. Shots. I yeah. am yeah. DJ Mal, and that was my man. No, we... <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Both all of you had enough now. <laughs> oh, Kids. Are we DJ Mal. Here we go. <laughs> I got a bottle. Boom, boom. Did, did he get any of the vomit on himself? Oh, yeah, yes, of yeah, course. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use yeah. precipitation. Me. Well, I mean, wait, wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> that's projectile vomit at that point. I mean, it, it's dribbling off his chin a little uh, bit, but it's not like I got my goatee. It's not like it's covering chunks. himself. Well, it's just. You get any most of it hit you? the table. I'm going to punch you in the If anything, me. maybe you and Thorne might have gotten splashback. He might have gotten yeah. some splashback. You guys might have gotten a little bit of splashback. Prestidigitation. It's yeah. like we're it's gonna, like watching a Gal Gallagher uh, episode. Well, we're except, gonna, except we're just going. We're just going to use some magic real quick and clean this area up. <laughs> use some prestidigitation and clean ourselves up. But you're going to leave the table covered with people. No, why not? Because I mean, we've <laughs> been here. <laughs> oh, somebody's been here. The thing is, it doesn't look bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looked dirty and, and, and damp and everything else before. Yeah, dirty, damp, and chunky. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so I mean, over time. I mean, but it, it's up. It's up. It's up to you. Yeah, we're gonna you, clean. You, it. you really want to clean everything yeah. up? Yeah. Okay. So you take. You take Even about how a we found it. You take about a minute and get everything cleaned up with your can trip. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you guys are gonna continue on. I hope so. Please. Yeah. Just, okay. <laughs> oh, I don't feel good. Don't you know, actually you just make yourself feel up. Uh, okay, right. I gotta do. I do have to do some uh, arrangements of people, but we're just going to actually. I'm just going to go. Now, but, right? We'll put you guys down here. Okay, but you're back where I left you just a second ago. Okay. Because I'm trying to find a spot where you all can stand. As I explain what's going on. So, technically, you guys are still, like, right in this area here. But, okay. <clears throat> so, you guys walk into this area. It I'm is about, see. it has oh. a about a 30-foot, I believe, 30-foot ceiling in this open, uh, above the open swamp. As you guys do walk in, though, right. it is muddy. Uh, you do still have... The walk on water ability, so the mud's not really hindering you any anywhere. No sp sounds, um, except for Bertram. That is that is definitely going to be interesting on that one. So it's about about a foot worth of mud 
of damp, muddy soil, okay? Or whatever you want to call it. It's just, it's just basically mud at this point. Um, where, you guys, where you guys look at to your right, which is technically where I have your tokens, but again, you're just coming into this area. Uh, to your right... Uh, the north side of the ledge seems to drop... Uh, seems to drop drop away twenty feet to uh, what looks like maybe possibly a battle or something has occurred. As you guys do notice, uh, out in the water swamp area, uh, there are plenty of weapons and shit scattered around, left into the into the water, as well as possibly shields or armor and whatnot. <clears throat> Two flat stones seem to command a view of this area. It almost seems like possibly some sort of thrones, but not quite. Almost like they're there for a seat or some sort of sitting arrangement. Or you guys ask, it's not mine. <laughs> I'm sure. Yes, I am sure. Nice. Just beyond those thrones, again, you guys, again, I can put you where I'm saying you guys are if you need help visualizing it. Off in the distance, off in the distance, because some of you guys can see it, and technically some of the light hits right over here, there's a uh, female Drugar that seems to be standing over there. <laughs> Who quickly, upon seeing you come into this opening, ducks back into wherever that uh, cave entrance or whatever is right there. Seems to duck back in there. I didn't see it. Well, Bart definitely probably would have. Um, but we can definitely roll to see if you do notice her. Make sure my random mind oh, oh, is activated. <laughs> uh, I got the goggle guts. You got the goggle guts? The goggle guts. <laughs> uh, I go running forward. Don't you like the smell of this fresh, swampy air? Okay. To that opening. <laughs> okay, give me just a second here, because now I am going to have to uh, pull some stuff up. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. too far. Uh, uh, yes, I'm gonna need that. Uh, that. And sorry, like I said, bear with me, guys. I am just trying to get some stuff here. Uh, let's see. Okay. It is I already know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Those aren't uh, do, 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 do. that'd be interesting. That's that's what I want. Yeah, uh, do, 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 do.
that way you visually can see people there. That is so <laughs> Feel better? Yes. Many much better. Except oh. <coughs> pipe. <laughs> Anyone have Jeopardy? <laughs> well, um, I, I gotta, I gotta get these icons. You, I'm trying to find icons. Die, you fuck the DM. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just use one of these. Fine, I, and then I gotta get <clears throat> one more thing. That way, when you guys do go there, we know exactly what is. Good boy. He is not there. We don't have. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernice is assessing Thorin because Thorin doesn't look good. <laughs> the, the one person I thought would be good is being bad. What is she, she's just going You're down welcome. her list of um, medical <laughs> issues. Unless your therapist, I think I'm good. <laughs> Calling Dr. Felspar. Dr. Felspar in the emergency, please. <laughs> for a legal physician, or for, for a legal advice. Or, uh, someone with a doctor's degree, press one. For someone who doesn't have a doctor's degree, press any other number. <laughs> well, Did you not see my what's, what's stupid is it has what I'm looking for, but it's Psychology? a premium access. Can't do that. I mean, that's solving the issue. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess it's I will use... Problems. End well. <laughs> solve problems. You're the engineer. I solve practical problems. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'll just use two of the... I'll just use it may not end well, but okay. I can solve problems. <laughs> if gun don't work, you use more gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh God. So, we're all going to hell. Where you guys everybody. were, uh, is your thorn really weird on why it's that's fine? I'm gonna move some of you back since somebody is moving forward. So I move, I just move the light over here for right now. So, Mark's moving forward, correct? Yep. That's what you said? Yep. Okay. And did you whisper, or did you, under your breath, and mumble with Just the smell them. What kind of smell do they smell like? Disappointment. They smell like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, that was that. amazing. It smells like failure. Wait, are you? <laughs> like disappointed. Yeah. Wait, uh, are you in there? Are you in there? A type of dwarf, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Okay. A type? No. Or, no. Or dwarves, thank you. They're what? A type. Oh, you're, you're talking about Drugar? Yeah. Yeah. They're a type. Yeah. I thought you were talking about. Why are they like I'm that? A, I'm not a type. I'm more speaking wise while we're waiting. But you are a type of. No, I'm a gold dwarf. <laughs> Same. So why are Drugar the way spy. they are? Royalty. <laughs> yeah, but wow. the, the queen barked. <laughs> the king the queen. thorn. The queen bee. And the king tea. 
Hell yeah. I pity the fool. <laughs> and Bertram's the jester. Oh, snap! Damn. Damn. I didn't see a clarinet on him. I didn't do anything to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, so. <clears throat> so I got this clear. Oh, they did. So you run forward to about right there. Yep. That's what you're doing? Okay. Uh, you guys see Bart kind of <laughs> high step it a little bit further away from you guys. Uh, is there anything in particular you're trying to do? Oh, I'll start running towards the Drugar, activate my Ring of Mind shielding. It okay. Needs to be activated, I don't know. I, at this point, I figured you probably already have it activated yeah. after speaking with the one guy. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, did she go around that corner then? Yeah, she, yeah. she, you can't see her, can you? No. Right? I cannot. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, she went in there. Uh, in fact, uh, real quick though, anybody else doing anything? I'll be I'll, following him. Yeah, I'll follow. Move yourselves to where you want to be because we're going to roll initiative. Okay, can I roll a stealth check? I don't think we'll be doing any combat. What do you think you're going to be doing? Stealthily sharding? Yes. <laughs> no, but I can stealthily hide behind him. It's not gonna make any noise. There's no gas in it. It's yeah, just gonna be all I liquid. Hide behind now. It'll be making slushy sounds. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna definitely sound like a tube Chocolate of toothpaste. Chocolate rain. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What? 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 Huh? <laughs> just seems like a good tactical point. <laughs> Are you going to roll the con or the d20? Are we rolling this or no? Nope. Yeah. You will be when I uh, ask you to roll. Uh, no, I was ta answering him, not you guys. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, everybody can roll initiative. Again, she reacted to you guys. You're uh, running towards her. <laughs> and there's reasons of shit that's going down. So. Distracted you? That Drugar. Oh, okay. <laughs> what Drugar? This is Drugar? <laughs> Are you blind again? No, like, no, just distracted. Like Tom, like Han Solo in uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. Boba Fett! Boba Fett! Where are you? Boy, <laughs> Sorry. That's what it reminded me of. Uh, huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. What? What's going on? Are you sure you don't got the that? shits? Who's that your... Huh, okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh, chuckles in DM. <laughs> you know how she's like chuckles in Spanish? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Leo. Laughs in French. Uh, okay, so we are going to, yeah. Going to die. <laughs> Helm protects. Back over to here. Okay, so initiative rolls. Uh, roll call twenty or higher. Yeah, one hand. I want to see another you hand. You beat me. I got that. I got a dirty twenty. You got what? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Dirty twenty. Okay. All right, uh, 15 to 20. Okay, what'd you get? I got a 19. I got the sign. You got a 19, and which one Bertram. are you? I got a 17. Bertram? 
<laughs> I know. Like, what? And what did Bart get, too? <laughs> it's close. Sticks? <laughs> Are you after me? Was that Drew Gar? <laughs> you said Bertram got it. So, BB. Okay. Uh, 10 to 15. Okay. About 14. 14 for Mel. Um, who am I missing? Uh, Thorn, what'd you get? Nine. What did Bart get? Six. Okay. Bart's too He's he's distracted by the fact that we left a drow behind us uh, <laughs> unattended to. <laughs> His mind is elsewhere. That and possibly the squeaks, uh, squeaks and screams that are getting ready to come out of somebody's ass, possibly. <laughs> Who is standing close by him? Is on fire. <laughs> I don't think I want to make these a saving throw. I think it's just going to be a constitution check. <clears throat> plus three, right? Huh? The plus three, right? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> the plus three. He's not trying to curse. save his ass. He's just trying to keep his ass from pooping. Anyway. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Kirkwin, you, you saw Bart kind of mumble or say something to where you guys are aware, hey, keep your guard up. Uh, it is technically your turn because apparently you go in first with your initiative roll. Alright, I'm gonna move twenty forward and with uh the I'm still in hybrid form, right? Mm, yes for now. Yeah. It it's definitely got a limitation on it right now. Uh, but you should still have hybrid form going. Okay. So, that means I still have blind sight. Echolocation. Yeah. Right? Well, echolocation, blind sight. <laughs> this blind sight is 60 feet with echolocation. Uh, Marco. Okay, that's 35. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> Let's see. I really didn't think I was going to go first. <laughs> All the choices. Right. Um, yeah, I was daunted by the amount of choices I had to. Fuck it. We'll just open up with Cantrip. Uh, Ray of Frost. Okay, what's the DC on that? It's a uh, two hit. Oh, it's a two hit. It was right. 24 hit. Uh, let me check to see if... I'm hitting the Brugar. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. Roll for damage. Six points. Yeah. And its speed is reduced by ten. That's it for me. Okay. Stisabalua. Your turn. Huh? You can even get think, close. I think, I think it's not like you had a rope. stroke. <laughs> just, just a buh. Your yeah. turn. Oh. First it and yours and now stroke. It was a shame. <laughs> you lived a good life. <laughs> I, uh... Thorn, you, give me a minute here. I slow, where's the trigger? I don't even see this damn thing. Oh, you can't? <laughs> you saw, I'd say, maybe saw a spell go off in a direction. I get up to here. Next to perk one. Ooh, what's that? I move 15 feet to get where he's at, because I don't know where it's at. Hey, do you see where, where is it? And down in that hallway. Okay. Fifteen, 
and I rage. Did, did you use your action dash? No, he no. has 40. Oh, you're right. Our brains get an extra 10. But, uh, so I rage. I attack this one. What do you mean by this one? Oops, I didn't mean to press that again. Okay. Motherfucker. All right, I fail that one. I like how you say you don't mean to do that when you fail. But I'm pretty sure if I you succeeded, you would say, oh, I hit. I've not it's, done it's, that yet. It's, I haven't succeeded yet. On a freaking that's why I've been using dice. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying if uh, you would have well hit I, with that you would have said oh well, I'm reckless that. with this one so I'm doubling up the dice on this one. Yes Nat 20 Nat 20 <laughs> Oh worst brutal critical when I need it Do I have it yet? It's like seven so, level. No, you get three. Yeah. Uh Reckless, extra attack, spirit of the shield, instant brutal critical. I get an additional damage die. Roll. Okay, fine. You want to do those rules? We'll do those rules. What rules are those? Roll your dice. I mean, it is a. Right? Yeah, it's a feature. Like I'll get at the end of. Barbarian, I get like four of them. <clears throat> you want to inform and go right ahead. Hey, uh, what? We do have the other rule about it not doubling up on the dice. I know that you get an extra with your brutal critical, but we also have it where it does max damage and then whatever it's rolled. Okay, well then I have one question, because I get two more of Brutal Critical. So will that just negate those as well? I, I don't know, since those are a feature to the class itself, do we add those dice on there? So what, what feature is this exactly? Because I have not heard of this feature at all, so that's why I'm trying to figure out what here, here, that is. Uh, yeah. He just threw it into the, uh... Uh, okay, so your hit dice is what? A d12. Alright, so you'd be pretty much rolling two d12s, yeah. correct? Okay. Then roll two d twelves. So I get plus three to my roll two d twelves and then add your modifier. Figuring out ten and eleven plus three. So one was a ten. Yep. And one was eleven. Yep. Uh, that's 21, and you add in 3, so 24. So basically you got exactly the other one, so that's 48 points of damage. Okay. And is that it for you? Uh, that's bonus action, attack, attack. Yep, that's it. And movement. Cool. <clears throat> no, I just never heard of Brutal cool Critical. Is that specific to the class or barbarian. just barbarian? Barbarian. just barbarians get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why I'm trying to figure out what the hell that is because you've rolled critical pools before and we have not used that. That's where I'm trying to figure out what the heck was going on. So, anyways. What? Yes, you have rolled criticals before. I guess I forgot. I apologize. So... That's where I'm trying to figure out why are you dropping something different on me here. Uh, okay. That's perfectly fine. 
Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. You uh, you cut down that Drugar. Congratulations. You cut down probably the least threatening thing that was in this uh, little hold in front of uh, these other things. So, and that's not what I want. My screen is going all over the place because I'm trying to move. Not let me move. Like the mouse is stuck. It it's like I can't. It won't let go of the map. <laughs> it's a right foot. All right, it won't let go of the map. I yeah. keep moving it. It's like keeps moving around. Okay, so that's going to end your turn. Yes, uh, Bernice. It is uh, technically your turn. Bernice is going to move forward. Eat. <clears throat> Beacon of Hope. Ooh. So I just threw it up, I think. I yes. Did that, right? Yeah, it's up. Mm -hmm. 30 foot range. Yeah. Uh, that will not get uh, Bertram. Will get boxed. Bertram is at 35. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I move back a space? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I, I will let you pull back. Okay. And do you need to see the targets? And it just says choose any number of creatures within range. Consideration. Now, can can you see him where you're at? Yeah, according to the map, I can. Yeah, it's okay. okay. weird. But... So wow. So according to him, you you can you can still see his token. Yeah, I can move though if you need me to. Yeah, how about if he if you're still within range? Let's go like this. If you're fine with that. Because then, to me, like with using this, yeah. it looks definitely like you're in visual range, okay. yeah. and you're within range there. So okay. that that makes more sense. Okay. Um, yes. So then... that's fifteen. So that's twenty five, twenty feet. I was just behind Barty, so is that twenty? Um, you were just behind him. Yeah. Uh, that was twenty twenty feet of movement. Okay. Whether you go here or here, that was okay. twenty feet of that's movement. Feet. Okay. So you would have still had you still have like five feet left okay. and then i'm going to um cast got bonus action is all you got left yep i'm gonna cast some um spiritual weapon would love to give that to you but i believe you just used an action to cast beacon of hope did you not mm -hmm. and spiritual, spiritual weapon, weapon is, is a, a bonus action but it's a spell oh, oh okay raj yeah. raj Raj. All right. What can I see? What can I see then? My little eyes in what that does, pit. What does my chocolate begin? Um, yeah. Unfortunately, with the lighting uh, that it's that. going, I know he. Erkwin can kind of see in there. But so you got dark vision. Rose. Um, yeah, right now you pretty much see what looks like I can do something. You basically see Boss right now kind of covered in the splattering of this Dugar as it lays on the ground. Uh, not quite sure what to make of it as a large object in the back seems to start, is starting to move. Right now it's, it's hard to understand what it is just yet. Okay. So, again, I got to work with the icons I'm given because the premium edition actually has some of the stuff I need, but... We don't have premium edition, so how much is premium? I'm working. I'm working with what we have. I don't know. You'd have to ask him because I don't. It's it's his account, and I don't deal with this account. But okay, so uh, that ends your turn, then. Yeah, I'll move. Uh, back. Yeah, five feet. Yeah, yeah to the um, wall there. Okay, then that. Yep, that will end it. All right. Okay. 
Bost. Yes. Mr. Bost. Yes. As you are basking in the glory of slaying this Dugar for whatever reason you perceive to be the reason that you needed to do, this grayish, red street looking, you almost thought possibly maybe just a giant cushion or something, maybe? Large cushion? Okay. Begins to move as a head appears out of the middle of it almost like a almost like a face of a person in a way it, it, on it all of a sudden flares out this skin like let's just say like a cobra like a king cobra would flare out yeah a long tongue flickers out seeing you as a morsel meal this Giant, well, I wouldn't say giant, this large fanged like snake creature. Not just it, but another one that right beside it also uncurls as they go to uh, attack you. Now, you use reckless on your second attack, so that means they have advantage on their attack rolls. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to say the first one right now is actually going to go ahead and attempt to uh, take a bite at you. Okay, even with advantage, that kind of sucked, but uh, 12 <laughs> is all they got No, on that hit. Okay. Uh, looking, let's see, where is it? Okay. Um, I need you to give me a wisdom save. A wisdom save? Yes. Oops, let's see. Uh, come on, dice, be lucky. Oh, plus, get an advantage on that. Oh, oh yeah. Then he gets right. advantage from the Beacon of Hope. So I rolled a six on that one. I'll roll another one. Roll this one. Okay, I rolled a six. <laughs> nice. You know what? I'm kind of <laughs> giddy over here because I'm like, oh, fuck, I didn't realize you get advantage on that because they're Beacon of Hope. And I was like, well, fuck, that just ruined my strategy. But no, your rolls determined it was going to happen. That's perfectly fine. Sir. The trash. <laughs> as the first one bites at you, you hear in common. Uh, just trying to see. Uh, basically, you got... <laughs> they cast Dominate Person on you, is what they did. I don't know what that is. That's what I'm getting ready to tell you. I'm just trying to decide the words that they use uh, in this. All I know is that if it dominates me, does it also have to shit its pants? Nope. Maybe it'll have you shit your pants. I, no, I doubt it. I'm not. I'm not saying that they do. Uh, okay, so you you were able to kind of block or move away from the other one, but the other one kind of you lock eyes with it, and it kind of gives you this almost like hypnotic uh, suggestion to you as it as it looks at you and basically goes. Run right out to the middle of the arena and play with a couple of our friends. So, where's the arena? That swamp area that's littered with a bunch of freaking weapons. Ooh. Where's the friends? 
You'll see them when you run out there, I guess. <laughs> Which is going to be... I'm literally asking it because... Yeah, yeah. I'm How much on your next turn? Oh, my. Uh, so, basically... So I don't get another turn. I don't get a chance to break out of it. I'm just done. You have to complete the command that they did. You after you, that you it's, have to once you, once you complete it, you basically have your control back. But the middle of it, just letting you know, is about right about here. So I can dash there. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be on your turn. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So on your turn, you will. Uh for now. I have to move a couple of people. And I also got to look at their movement speed. So I can determine where they're going to go. Uh, <coughs> yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. And I think... For now, that's going to end of their turn for right now. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and say that ends their turn, and it's gonna go with uh, BB. Is uh, your turn, uh, Bertram? Is going to move uh, next to Bernice so he can see what the hell is going on. So he can see what's going. On. <laughs> Apparently it's dark in there. Yep, because somebody had to drop their torch in order to swing uh, their axe. <laughs> I don't even have to roll for it because I already said that the uh, floor was uh, grounded in mud and such. So it's it's going out. Um, I'm going to hold a dodge action there. Okay, and that's BB holding it? Yep. All right. Okay, and then that's it for you? Yep. Okay, Mal, you're up next. The Thorn, you're after. Ooh. Uh, what is Mal going to do? I'm going to hide behind <laughs> Okay. Um, you told me because then I would have hid behind you. <laughs> no. 16. Okay. All right. Anything else? Nope. No, that's it? Yep. Okay, Thorn, BF, you're right after. I'm going to move. Right here and hold a dodge. Okay. That's it. That's all you're doing. Okay, BF. Your turn. Bart's going to move into the doorway here. Yep. Oh, I can't see. That is me being able to see. I, I don't know why you, you should be able to see stuff. It's all I'm, gray, though. Your color shows that you should see everything. Um, so I see, okay, I see what I see. What do I see Boss doing? Right now, yeah. he appears to be getting ready to turn around and run. Okay. And I'm going to then just fire a blast at each one. So if they die, do I have to still commit the command? One way to find out. <laughs> yeah, if he can do enough damage in this turn, sure. Yeah. I'm just asking. With my Eldritch Blasts, yes. That's a detail. First one, 17. 17 to hit? Here, hold on. Let me, I meant to color coordinate these guys. I'm sorry. That way you can tell me which color you're actually trying to hit. First one goes to blue. Blue? Okay. Yeah, 17 you said? Yep. Yeah, that hits. 
Uh, damage for that will be one. Good. And wow. Good job. And the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's great. Next one <laughs> fires and gets a nine. That's annoying. But the hit. Yeah, nine to hit. It was nine to hit? Yep. Oh, shit, I thought that was the damage. I'm like, wow, you did more on that one. Uh, no, nine doesn't hit. Uh, and then as a bonus action, uh, I'm going to... Use a vow of enmity on the blue one. Because <laughs> I'm blue. And that's going to end my turn. Okay. Be within 10. Oh, does that have to be in 10 feet? Yeah. yeah, it does. Never mind. I don't do that. Okay. I was getting ready to say pop it up, but since the other paladin already confirmed uh, what needs to happen, then okay. And that's it? Then, okay, top of the round, Peter Perquin, and then, then uh, backwards bossed. Um, move again. See Bart run over by you and fire two blasts. And... Yeah. Boom, boom. And so Bart just started blasting. Yeah. <laughs> Dan DeVito style. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thirty. Okay. Um. Let's let's just do another cantrip. Ray of Frost on the uh, red one. Okay. Does 17 hit? Uh, we established 17 does hit. Four points. Okay. On, well, it's, uh, points. speed is reduced by 10. Okay. All right. And that's it for me. Okay, that's it for you. Yep. All right, sir. You were given a command, a a command to do something. I would like you to do that. You were yeah, told, I don't know where, though. You were told to run into the middle of the arena and play with their two friends. Okay. 40. Right about there. That 70 marker is about where it's uh, about the middle. Oh, oh. Yeah. Whoa, what's whoa, going whoa. on? <laughs> 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 Technical difficulties. Nice. That's Taking the indirect route. <laughs> You're right. Bob Weave, Bob Weave. You're right here at 40. <laughs> right here? Where you want me? Yeah, if that's a total of 70. 70, then we're good. Close enough. That means you would have uh, used dash action. Dash and moved. Yep. To get there. Yep. Can I use a reaction to make an opportunity attack against him? Wow. He's got a point. If I get hit, then what happens? Do I lose well, it? I'm going to try to make a tripping attack. And call That's him exactly coward what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, wait a minute. They all get opportunity attacks at that point. <laughs> they really do. What happens if I get hit? The only one way Does to the find spell out. Break? Find yeah. out. <laughs> Ah. Oh, and if I hit you, your movement speed is reduced by 10. Bipolar? Um, 
It's called ah. technically not by rules. Relentless what? Avenger. Uh, technically. Say what? Uh, technically not by rules. Oh no! I was looking to see if he takes damage. What would happen? Uh, opportunity attack says it has to be against an enemy. Right. So. He's. Well, but then again, you guys aren't really considering that's the yeah, well, about this day. <laughs> More than once, you guys have established that. <laughs> uh, it's, well, it's our motto is: if you're running away from a battle, you're a coward. The thing is, is even though you technically don't know where it goes, they can literally take total control of you. So therefore, even though Boss has no idea where it is, you run right to where you got to go because they can take total control of you and right. move you right where they want. All right. So, right now you have not completed the task. You've moved in the middle, but you're not playing with their two friends yet. I get that, but so are we not letting doing the reactions? No, I don't think hitting so. me. Technically, me. you guys have been treating him like an ally. Yeah, lately. So, yeah, no. Okay. Um, I still do berate. Uh, <laughs> the dwarf. So, berate. arming word. Get back in here, you. Fucking coward. Uh, last and, one. So if I do take damage, do I lose it? No, you just are able to redo a saving throw. You get to make a new saving throw. Okay. They have, right now, control over you for one minute or until you succeed if you take damage or you complete the task that you were given. So one minute is how many rounds? Six. Ten rounds. Yeah, ten. And they did it on the first round. So... That's what I thought was really funny about. It would even be funnier if I could get one more person to also do that, too. Um, <clears throat> so, secondary, yeah. Secondary yeah. question, do I lose my rage? Um, yeah. Technically, I'm mentally attacked. Technically, it hurt my feels. Technically, they have total control over you, so right now, you're not raging. So... And yeah, okay. So they have you have ran what? without and kind of calmed down, and now you're waiting to play patty cake with two of their friends. Okay. So, and that'll end your turn. It's going to go Bernice. Um, uh, I'm going to step in right next to my brother, and I'm going to see. These two, I guess, snake-like creatures. Yeah, um, they are the two spirit nagas. Jesus. What? Spirit naga. Awesome. All right. Yeah. I'm going to attempt... Um, you, ran right after, you ran right after that new guard. I'm like, fuck, okay. And uh, somebody else ran right into that uh, area. So, yeah. Well, what is she doing? I'm going to attempt a guiding bolt on... Uh, Little red, nope, on blue riding hood. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go, baby. Come on. No whammies. Damn, wow. Damn. So it'd be 16. <laughs> 16? Yeah. Of course, Sarah. Yeah, that'll hit. Right. Poor Sarah. What? 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 Huh? You want to pass that door? Uh, I think she's pretty rich. Because I didn't have it. So. Oh, is it the Raiders? Yeah, I'm sure it's the fucking. Was it like? Did they 30, even show 36 up? Thirty-six now. Thirty-one to six. Oh, okay. Let's see. And there's six minutes left in the game. Audience. You're using your magical portal to see into another realm, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is not Renaissance Fair. <laughs> it's fuck. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> It's called foreshadowing. No. <laughs> we, we gotta know how our chiefs are doing. Oh. Uh, I'll be honest. I mean, it's 18 oh, points of damage ability. plus uh, Bertram gets advantage. Well, he always gets Well, no, advantage. it's the next, next, next. Yeah, the next attack. Next Sorry. attack. Yeah. Again, uh, just throw that out there on the uh, the Raj. chat for me because I want to make sure that it's, it, it's completely next attack, not just next melee. No, it is just next attack. Yeah, the next attack roll made against this target. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to make sure. That's why I was throwing it up there. So just 18? Yeah. Against blue. Okay. Yeah. 
And does that end your I'm turn? I'm just excited that I uh, made that. Um, yes. Well, yes. That was a spell. I can't whip out. Uh, yeah, because you used one spell yeah. already. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. You guys are going to love this. You got, you guys. Why'd you have thought, to get outside my ring? You guys got so much closer. That is so freaking awesome. Step back. <laughs> uh, first, I'm going to actually get this. Get to step back. I'm going to get this little guy out of here real fast for, for the time being. I can still see that. Yeah, I know. I'm just. <laughs> I, I had I had to move it real quick so I can take that X off of it, just so that way if I need to use an extra token for whatever reason. Uh, okay, so you guys, uh, move these guys closer. So move. And what? Movement speed, or you said? Or yes. Or red? No, uh, blue. Or no, no, it is red. Never mind. You are right. Red. Yeah. Uh, but but it, it, it doesn't matter how much movement speed it has. It's technically, it technically, he'll only move five right now. But um, oh, I was right. <laughs> uh, that is not what I'm looking at. What I'm looking at is what its next thing it's going to do here. Uh, I need to see. There it is. How far is that? Uh... Oh, that's nice. Oh, there it is. Uh... Oh, okay. 500 feet. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh I still got that going on. Ah! Ignore that. They did not move there. I was trying to let go of them. It's moving. Yeah, that works. That's just kaput. That's the switch. It's kaput. Moi mal, would some would say. One of them uses the spell Dimension Door. And... They both leave through it, teleporting across the arena. Just on the other side of Bost. For his friends. <laughs> we kosher. Anybody that it's all good? Any yeah, reactions or anything market. they can do? That's why I'm making sure, because somebody moved within range. Somebody moved as they were going to draw their weapon. Like, yes, I'm going to do this. I just want to make sure before I move on with the next thing that's going to happen. Because the next thing that's going to happen is... Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. What is the range? Oh, I like your boss music. Boss music. Uh, what's the range in this one? Okay, same. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nope. Uh, they are. Let's see. He moved. He used five feet. So he's just going to oh. move. Here. Okay, that'll be good. And this one is just going to be over just a little bit more as these two guys are now going to play. Okay. 
Um, all right, that is going to end their turn. Uh, BB, it is your turn. Is this chamber, this chamber is lit? Uh, it's kind of partially lit from the uh, orb. Because yeah. I don't think anybody else has anything lit up. But, but it's it's BB that's that's looking though. So. Right. So can I see them? The the two? Yeah. Uh here, what it what what is uh yours your orb is forty feet total? Mm-hmm. Light is out to there. So I don't well no no it's all dimly lit so yeah so yeah it's 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 all dimly lit okay. in this chamber because the the plant life that uh, that's in here is giving off faint dim uh, which should only be out to like twenty feet because it's a dimly lit twenty feet so so yeah I'd say I think you can probably see them I don't see I don't see why not you can definitely see uh, everything that's in the what they called the arena. I thought you were talking about the other chamber where they were at. You were talking about the open area, correct? Yeah. I okay. want to see if I can see the... Yeah, you... If, if you're made aware that they uh, are no longer in that and you happen to turn, or maybe you're looking at Boss as he's running through the swamp, um, then yes, you'd be able to see. So that probably would, probably would have tripped me more is watching him run out of the Thing full speed into the dank, dank kush. I mean, what? Uh, uh, I just start running. So, question. Which route did you take? Around the edge. You went around the edge? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so you were right here and you went around yep. the around the edge, right? Yep. Okay. Ninety-five. Well, I cut off a, an angle there. Sure, move me back one. I just one, right? I mean, I right here is all. I mean, if it if it makes a total difference, we can go back. I just that. I mean, I'm I'm just making sure because there is a slight slope on that uh, edge. So if you cut it, I'm, I'd have to have you because you don't have water water walk, right? That's good, right there. Oh. And, and my turn. Okay, so you used action and bonus action yep. to, to dash and move. Okay. All right, Mal, you're up. Thorn, you're next. Your hiding spot, by the way, moved. Oh, wow. So you're out in the open. Yes, her normal response is hide behind. <laughs> you know, maybe I hide behind Thorn. <laughs> the injured door. Yes. Okay. The funny thing is, I think I'm the tallest dwarf amongst us. It's injured. I didn't you're, you're, it. you're a giant dwarf. Well, it's and say it's short, I said. Injured. Yeah. Injured. You're a you're a giant dwarf. Yes. Uh, no, I want to measure. Frank and John. Name. I want to. You no, know, this oh, might be mean. Anyway. This might irritate them. But, but we're going to. 
cast fireball over here. Because <clears throat> I can see all of this dimly lit. Yeah, it's it's dimly lit, so you would be able to see the spots. And the blue one is radiant. It, it is, is but kind of faintly glowing. It, it, it <laughs> kind of almost doesn't matter on the uh, saving throw when it comes to saving throws. I should probably move somebody. I should probably move this token over here as well. Maybe that'll help me move everything. That's I'm just. That's not what I wanted. Yay, it kind of helped me grab it. Cool. Your spiritual weapon helped me out now. <laughs> All right, so where are you putting this again? You want it right there, mm -hmm. centered? Right around here. Okay. You're going to spend another charge. Okay. Uh, just make sure. Uh, okay, and it's a uh, saving throw, correct? Yeah, Dex. Oh, fireball, great. No. Who says? I'm looking at the fireball ring. That's not fireball. That's moonbeam. Uh, what's your D? What's your <laughs> oh DC? My oh, oh my what? god! What's a moonbeam? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That is... What what's your DC? <laughs> Backgrounds and atmosphere. <laughs> okay. Fifteen. Both the spirit and August moon... pass. Not moonbeam. It's, not moon 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 it's solar eclipse. <laughs> it's called <laughs> fucking obliterate. It's called a background. <laughs> so, solar eclipse. Inside the city. <laughs> <laughs> they said this was the fighting arena, okay. right? Yeah. It's in the arena. <laughs> okay. Uh blast blast away. Two sixes. Third save. Here's another save. <laughs> Here's another save. How many charges that fucking thing have? <laughs> it's it's not enough. <laughs> Add it together. 35. 35 total? Yes. Okay. Uh, Spirit and August survive, make the uh, save, so they will take half, which is 17. The two trolls that are Coming to greet your friend there to play patty cake with uh, failed their saves. Are they on fire? <laughs> no, they're not on fire. Not yet. Doesn't matter. I gotta play patty cake with them. And then, as a bonus act, I like to hide behind door. Because. 30. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's using you as a meat shoot. How do you feel about it? I'm fine with this. <laughs> There's a tank in that general direction somewhere <laughs> in those okay, bushes. I don't know this. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's, my passive <laughs> perception is 10. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I rolled she, a 19, 11, and I get plus 11. So it's, all, it's all good Christmas. because technically it's Thorne's turn, so your stealth may not matter at this point. Yeah. So, Thorne, your turn. That's a good point. Thoron is going to Leroy Jenkins himself. <laughs> 50 feet. I'm going to dash and no bonus action since uh, uh, I don't have any spells. Actually, 45 feet. Still got water walk, though. What? We still got water walk? Yeah. 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 Except for Bird. Except for Bird. Ooh. That's why I want to go. Oh, I know what your path was that you were taking. <laughs> there he is. I'm lucky. Actually, I'm going to... Uh... Where are you going? You were injured. I was injured? You are injured. <laughs> yes. You are mentally injured. Instead of doing that, actually, I'm going to go around. She's, she's saying that so that way her meat shield doesn't move too far away. Because I'm <laughs> moving. <laughs> I wonder why. No, maybe I use you. Right there. That actually makes she, sense. Ah. Wrong button. You're too tall, though. That too actually tall. makes more sense. Right there. 50 feet right there. Yep, that's where you saw, I saw it. Okay. And that's it. 
that was my dash action. I don't have BBAs available. Do we have BBLs available? Dieselbub? Nope. Uh, BF, will you go ahead? And it's your turn and uh, for me. Okay. Someone kill things, please. Working on it. We're schmoving, man. Uh, I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, 20 to the edge here. Okay. What? He's living on the edge, man. The edge right here. So tell me about this. You said there was like a ledge or something? or Yeah, like... as I described, there was a... There was a uh... Not just in front of you where you're kind of standing, you guys kind of walking over these chair-like thrones, which obviously were probably made for these spirit nagas that are currently out there. Looks more suitable for them to sit. Um, the slope, it is dry land that, that raises up, but it's not like completely dry. It's still... Mm -hmm. It's drier than probably the mud that you guys would be walking on, technically. Um, but it is a 20... It says the water uh, to a 25... A 20-foot 20 uh, ledge right there. 25-foot high ledge. So it's, it's sloped. It's not a gentle slope. It's a slope that right where you guys are at, that around there is about 20-foot high ledge now from my from what i can understand and what i'm seeing is it, it's not a 20 foot ledge all the way around it's just in this particular spot around here okay it's about a 20 foot high ledge probably in particular used so that way combatants combatants cannot try to go after the people watching basically yeah. the two nagas so but there is a it is a twenty foot high ledge, and as you can see amongst the water sparkling from a little bit of the dim light coming from the plants is a bunch of weapons happen to be still left out there sticking up. Some could be rusted, some still could be freshly laid out there, but right. plenty of weapons and shields and and shit like that are scattered amongst. So I run to the edge and I fire a blast at the blue one. At the blue, which one? The blue naga. Okay, so you're you're still focused at the naga. Yeah. So blasting towards that guy. Which one? Okay. Uh, put me under charm or whatever the hell it is. Do I know? Uh, I mean, technically, it would have been blue that that did that. Just asking. Uh, rolled a seventeen to the blue one. Seven points of damage. Okay. And then to the red one, so computer. Twenty five to hit. Yeah, that's that's going to hit for two points damage. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, you you kind of actually snap out of it. By the way, yay! But it's it's maybe not a too complete yay moment right now though. Oh. Uh, you you definitely snapped out of it, but it's not your turn. Um. So two blasts get shot off from Bertram. Bartram. Bart Bartram. Yes. Um. <laughs> Bart, sorry. Um, that is completely fine. Bertram, I'm just using these icons. Okay. Please do not go off on a tantrum here. I'm just using these icons to represent peons of certain creatures. You're peeing on what? But three. Oh God. <laughs> three, three humanoid creatures do appear to be coming out of the uh, shadows right there as you see streaks of um, 
Oh, what color would your Eldritch Blast be? Like a bluish color or green? No, it's yellow. Yellow? Yeah. So, P? Yeah. Yellowy orange. Yellowy orange. Okay. Yep. As two of these streaks fly out, Bertram happens to glance over and see these three three humanoid creatures having to be coming out of the area of pretty much behind you. Uh, Bost happens to kind of snap out of it. You kind of had your axe down by your side for a moment, but you kind of snap out of it a little bit. The stomach rumbling and gurgling, possibly getting ready to erupt. Um, I definitely want to make sure I write those in my notes. Um, Mal, your cover has ran away from you, so you're no longer hidden. Not saying you were hidden to begin with, but... <laughs> Bernice, the creatures that were in that area are no longer there as you kind of turn around and see them off in the distance. And your party members begin to scatter amongst the area. Is maybe going to be slightly on the difficult side to possibly heal, heal them. Herquin, as it is, would be your time to react. Right now, you're kind of assessing the area as you're going, the fuck is going on with Boss and everybody else. That is basically where we're going to end it for today. Um, counting the time that we were playing before the uh, technical difficulty, and now that is our time limit. I am going to end it there for tonight. And uh, we will pick up with this next week. Hey, guys, thank you for sticking with us. Uh, we did have a slight technical, technical difficulty, so if you're watching us on Twitch, uh, you will notice that we dropped uh, and we had to relaunch our... Uh, stream so I do apologize on that there's going to be two videos on Twitch but there will be one video on YouTube so you can catch on YouTube if you like to catch the rest of this um, our heroes right now are in a battle we will pick the battle up uh, next game session and we'll see how things go um, okay does anybody have anything they like to add or or anything like that before we protect he doesn't protect me lately. Protecting me. You don't believe in him. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be it then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the, <laughs> hit the follow button. We definitely appreciate it. And until next time, peace.